Today's review is about hyperadrenal corticism. 今日の復習は副腎皮質機能更新症についてです。In practice, when a dog presents being fat, cold seeking with non-HE bilateral alopecia, you should have HAC cushings at the top of your differentials. You should have Cushing's at the top of your list. A good way to remember the clinical signs of Cushing's is the five P's. Hot bellied, panting, Alkaline phosphatase, stress leukogram, bacteriocystitis can occur at the same time as hyperadrenal corticism. Which means uh, the leukograms with high neutrophils and monocytes with low lymphocytes. So we're talking about hyperadrenal corticism in dogs, but in cats, 80% of cats with Cushing's have diabetes. But in dogs, only 10% of Cushing dogs have diabetes, but 40% will have bacterial cystitis. So this is some, something to remember when you think about dogs hyperadrenal corticism. が、クッシングでは見られます。で、ALP Adrenal Corticotrophic Hormone Stimulation Test is a good, quick test to diagnose iatrogenic HAC. So with this test, with ACTH stimulation test, um, long-term overuse of steroids, which is iatrogenic HAC, cortisol does not increase after the test. So if post-ACTH stimulation test, cortisol level are normal, you must still do a low-dose dexamethasone suppression test.
an endogenous plasma ACTH concentration is to differentiate between a pituitary HAC and an adre adrenal HAC. to differentiate and adrenal so all of the tests have gray areas mostly related to sensitivity and specificity this will be a quick review of epidemiology. Um, ACTH stimulation tests have high specificity, which means they have fewer false positives. So trust a positive test more. And low-dose dexamethasone suppression tests, they have more, higher uh, sensitivity, which means they have fewer false negatives. So you can trust the negative test more. Okay, so that's a review of epidemiology. Well, review of specificity and sensitivity of clinical diagnostic tests. Oh, shoot. So, Fukujin Hitsuki no Koshin Shou ni wa, just to get it out of the way, ACTH Shigek Shiken, Shouyo Dexamethasone Yokse Shiken, so, Shte, Nine Se Kesho Chu ACTH Nodo, to you test of Arimas. The, Ogoi to Banaki Kenai no wa, ACTH 刺激試験は遺伝性の副腎質更新症の診断に有効であるということそして内因性血小中の ACTH 濃度測定は、えー、下垂体性か副腎性の副腎皮質機能更新症を、えー、と診断するのに有効ということを覚えておいてください。So treatment options for hyperadrenal corticism are mitotane, keoconazole, L-dipronel, and trilostane. Trilostane. selectively destroys the glucocorticoid secreting cells. Destroys. Cells. In adrenal cortex. And ketoconazole inhibits enzymes of cortisol synthesis. So inhibit enzymes and L dipronel will decrease the pituitary works by 